Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Battalion 1944 close beta on the GeForce CDX 1050 Ti for FPS monitoring, this time I won't be using cam since this game uses easy anti-cheat which currently cam is not compatible with so in the meantime I'll be using MSI Afterburner and if you want to support me there are Humble and Amazon affiliate links down in the description so Battalion 1944 close beta I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4k to skip down at those sections of the video check the description below so well first of all I got this beta very late the code for this close beta beta and it ends tomorrow so I just got it a few hours ago which means that I'll just test it on the 1050 Ti but I'll test it again on other GPUs when this game releases which will be the first days of February so this will be on early access then so yeah keep that in mind this is a beta from a game that will be on early access and well this is on Unreal Engine 4 and on the options we have textures, anti-aliasing, shadows, effects, post-process, foliage, resolution quality, texture streaming and motion blur most of these options are the same as most Unreal Engine 4 titles but we cannot edit the view distance quality which I'll talk about in a second but yeah on 1080p maxed out I saw over 60 frames per second with some major drops into the 30s when in a very specific part of the map I'll talk more about that after talking about resolutions then at 1440p by just lowering the effects quality and the anti-aliasing quality from ultra to low and keep the rest on high except in textures which I will keep on ultra you'll see pretty much over 60 frames per second again similar to 1080p with major drops into the 30s on a very specific part of the map and finally at 4k it was impossible to maintain constant 60 frames per second so I just show you the lowest settings with textures maxed out and you'll see that the game will be between 30 and 60 and it will vary quite a bit so well I'm going to talk about performance more in depth now this will be pretty much first impressions on performance there are two maps I think one of the names of one of the maps is the railed and the other battery the one I'm testing in this video is battery because it runs much worse than the other one this one has mud a lot of foliage all that kind of stuff just wet surfaces and well the settings that I saw that made the biggest difference in performance were effects and anti-aliasing but effects to get a major boost you need to put it on low other than that it's not much of a difference the other options will be a small bump up in performance but again effects and anti-aliasing are the biggest differences texture streaming I'm not sure what it does exactly but I saw lower VRAM usage with it enabled so I recommend you use that if you have less than 4 gigabytes of VRAM and try higher quality textures and well what I saw in battery this map that I was testing what I noticed in that map is that on the spot that the US spawns at you get a huge performance hit like if you're at 60 frames per second you get a hit to 30 just like half the frame rate but after you move a few meters away from that area just looking into the distance the frame rate just stabilizes just fine you get double the frame rate again the same happens in the other spawn point when the game starts but it happens each time you go through there it seems that it's just showing you a big chunk of the map which is a huge performance hit to the gpu but the problem here it seems to be that just loading a ton of stuff in the distance because you are in a high ground that's what makes the big performance hit that's what i was talking about at the beginning of the video we cannot tweak the view distance option it's just grayed out which I expect when the game releases on early access to have the option probably when we lower that that problem will be sorted out but if you want to fix it right away just lower effects from ultra to low and that should give you a difference in performance instead of dropping to 35 fps you probably drop to 50 but yeah guys that's my brief explanation of what I could gather from the little time I played the beta remember I'll test this again on more GPUs and this GPU when it releases on early access so stay tuned for that but yeah guys that's pretty much it I hope you keep enjoying the video thanks for watching and see you next time
dropped our flag. The enemy has taken our flag. Our flag has been returned. <sighs> the enemy has taken our flag!
They're capturing B! The enemy has captured B! <sighs> the enemy is taking C! We're taking A! We've taken A! They're taking A! We're on C! The enemy has taken A! Let's see. 